Good day, everyone. Thank you for joining our live event. Today's live event, I'm going to be covering some of Joan Art's uh, fiber optic light sources and power meters. It'll be a general overview of the features and functions of each. Um, before I get started, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Ed Serbona, uh, Senior Director of Engineering here at Joan Art. And with me today, I have Brenda, Mike, and Carmen, and they are going to work the background, work the cameras. Uh, Mike will keep me in line. Uh, we'll, you might even hear us communicating to each other if he wants me to zoom in as I have an overhead camera here so you guys can see the screen and we can get up much closer so you see everything in greater detail. Um, again, before I go on, please take a moment to like, share, and comment and go to jonar.com forward slash live to enter a contest to win one of our power meters, the FPM 50A. So with all that housekeeping out of the way, let me start talking about some of the products. So I'm going to talk about the light sources first. So first light source we have is our FPM 50, uh, FLS 50, okay? It is a single mode light source. It has two wavelengths, uh, 1310 and 1550. It has um, four different configurations for frequency. So we have uh, a constant wavelength. Okay, we can change to a pulse of 270 hertz, 1000 hertz, 2000 hertz, and then back to constant wavelength. Press the wavelength button to switch it back and forth between uh 1310 and 1550 nanometers you can see every time i press a button here the backlight lights up so you can see it a display of uh, battery status and obviously it's powered on uh pretty simple straightforward uh it comes in case just just like this here i'll put it this way how's that mike good okay so it comes in a case like this it has a FC connector on it. It also comes with a SC connector and an adapter to allow you to connect up to LC connectors. So that's the light source, uh, the FLS 50. Let me turn it off, press and hold the button to turn it off. It also comes, it requires three AA batteries, which it comes with as well. Oh, one last thing comes with little cleaning sticks. So I want to throw that in there. Um, just a little tip here. Anytime you're using the light source or a power meter, make sure you clean the, um, the port and the connector right before you connect it up. You can use our, our Jonard um, FCC-250 to do that. It's just, it's good practice to do that. So the next meter I have is our FLS-55. This is a, a single mode and multi-mode uh, light source all in one. So very similar to the FLS-50. Power it up, defaults to 1310 nanometers, Let's change the wavelength, um, goes to 850 multi-mode, and 1300 multi-mode. Uh, let me lift it up here. This is the single mode port. This is the multi-mode port. Okay, and then everything else pretty much the same. Uh, four frequencies, constant, 270 hertz, 1000, 2000 hertz. Okay, so, and again, comes in the case, FC connectors, SC connectors are separate and LC connector and cleaning swabs. Follow the same cleaning tip uh, I gave you. So that, that's the power meters general overview, okay? Moving on. Over to the power meters. So power meter, our FPM 50A. It again has FC connector on it. Again, comes with the SC connector, LC connector, cleaning swab, and three batteries powered also by 
three AA batteries. So it comes with that. It's pretty straightforward to use. Simply power it up. Uh, let's take a look here. It has a button this time for um, the backlight so you can keep it on. You can toggle between DB, DBM. And the center here will show uh, DBM and the power in watts, uh, microwatts, nanowatts, milliwatts, whatever the, the power range is. This unit can detect and work with eight different wavelengths. So I can literally take it through them. So 850 nanometers, 980, 1300, 1310. 1490, 1550, 1625, and 1650. Uh, that's a great little thing to have here. Um, also on the front here, we have a zero out button, so you can create a reference cable, zero it out, add your other cables in, and calculate your optical loss total. Um, one little feature that this tool also has is it has a manual calibration adjust offset uh, adjustment. So you're able to go in and create an offset on your reading. You might, for whatever reason, you might want to do this. Maybe you want to blank out one section uh, of your cable and do it from that point on, but keep the cable in there. It's just one uh, reason I can think of. Um, but it has that capability and it's pretty simple to use. That's what this zero is. You press two buttons, it switches to one telling you you're in that mode. Press two buttons again to get out of it. Two buttons are the light button and the uh, lambda or wavelength button. And now I'll toggle you in and out of that. Okay, I'll power that off. Moving on, oh. Before I move on, I do want to say, so that's the FPM 58. Its power range is from minus 26 dBm to, nope, sorry, minus 50 dBm to plus 26 dBm. The FPM 70 is the exact same light source as uh, the FPM 50A, only its power range is from minus 70 dBm to plus 6 dBm. This is really designed for long haul, very long uh, run cable. So with that, we also have the FPM 55. The FPM 55 basically does the same thing as the other meters, only it has storage capability. Again, FC comes with the same adapters, three, uh, three batteries, three AA batteries. It also comes with, so let me take you through, and the same kind of case as well. Let me take you through the screen here and the buttons. Pretty similar, okay? You can toggle your wavelengths right up here. You can see that well, Mike? Yep. Okay, thanks. 1625, 1650, 850, 980, etc. Okay, the backlight, the backlight has a unique feature I'd like to describe. So it can behave just like the other ones. Press the backlight button and it lights up. Press it, turns off. Press and hold it, light here switches green. Now it'll automatically come on if the room is dark. So you can see I'm covering the sensor and it automatically comes on. So that might be a feature you'd like. It also has an auto off feature where I believe it's after 15 minutes, it automatically turns off, but that can be turned off just simply by pressing the power button. Okay. Let me take that back and we're all set there, switch units. Now, um, you can take your measurements, save it. So just as an example here, I'm going to save what's on the screen here. Press it again. Now you go back in, take more measurements. I want to save another one. Press it. It's in storage location two. Do it again. 
I'm in storage location three now, and so on. So now, let's say I've taken a bunch of measurements for today. I want to clear them out. Press and hold. And I use the delete button here to delete them out. And there you go, I've wiped everything out. It's back to doing its normal reading. Reference button again will zero out uh, a cable so you can, that cable can be your reference and you build on from there. Uh, so you've taken all these measurements, you stored them in the unit. What do you do then? This unit comes with a disk, with software on it, cable to transfer it over to a computer. It actually comes with a power adapter as well. Uh, power adapter is great because it allows you to set the meter up on your desk, plug it in. You don't have to worry about uh, the batteries dying on you. Uh, it's probably easier instead of using the disk to go to jonard.com, enter at PM-55, and the software can be downloaded from there. Just follow the instructions. You can then download the software, connect this up to your computer, and it'll automatically dump the, the uh, data out into a file for you. That file could actually be converted into Excel for you to do data manipulation or whatever it is you're going to do with that, but allows you to save that data on a computer and clear out uh, the storage in your unit so you can go on and do whatever it is you're doing. So with that, um, that pretty much covers uh, the meters, the, the light sources, as well as the different power meters we have. We have some GPOM meters, which uh, we're probably going to cover in a, another uh, demo because I will really want to set that up and do something nice for that. So. With that, I open it up to the floor. Any questions? Brenda's already shown me some questions here, so I appreciate anybody who's thrown the questions out. Question is, what is the optical power output for the light sources? The light source's optical power out is minus seven dBm typically. Oh, okay, another question. How long do the batteries last in the power meters and the light sources. Uh, the batteries will last constant on about 20 hours. There is some variation with that, depending on the frequency uh, with the light sources, uh, what they're running at, that will change uh, the life of the battery a little bit, not dramatically, but typically about 20 hours. Any other questions? Oh, one, one's coming up. She's typing it for me right now. Thank you. <laughs> almost there. We're almost there, working away. All right. What are, okay, question is, what are these frequencies used with the laser sources? When I say frequencies, I'm really referring to pulsed output. So you're taking your constant wave. Constant wave means it's just constantly going. When I say frequency, it's shooting out in pulses of 270 hertz or 1,000 hertz, 2,000 hertz. That's what's meant by that. Uh, another question, interesting. Can I use the, the uh, light source and power meter with the splitter? The answer is yes, yes you can. Um, you're going to have the light source as a single input and you're going to have to measure off of 32 uh, different inputs, but the answer is yes. Uh, mm, Okay, we have another question here. Do the meters come with an LC uh, adapter? Um, 
I mentioned that in the beginning, but I'm happy to uh, restate it. So all the meters and light sources come with FC Connect. They're already mounted on them. They have an SC adapter separate, and they come with a SC to LC adapter. So the answer to that is yes. Um, any other questions, Brenda? We're good? Okay, so it looks like we've covered all the questions. So with that, um, I'd like to sign off uh, again by saying, please take a moment to like, share, and comment. Go to jonar.com forward slash live. Enter the contest to win a FPM 50A. How's that? <laughs> okay, so with that, uh, thank you very much for watching and please stay safe.